many people have already noted the irony that Obama's announcement that he killed Osama bin Laden came during an episode of Celebrity Apprentice. It's almost as if Obama were saying to Donald Trump, this is why I don't care about your birther nonsense. I got more important shit to deal with, alright? That's why I'm the president and you're not and you never will be. But on the topic of don't you have more important shit to deal with, apparently the omnipotent ruler of the entire universe has nothing better to do than hate on some fags. At least, that's what you would believe if you listen to the Westboro Baptist Church and today's video titled Fag Church. It's a fable agreed you know, a flowery field just isn't complete lie. without Edward and Bella staring at each other in it. But the people want the lie, and I got Bible for that. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by the There's a self-referential paradox if I've ever so, seen one. What will you do in the end thereof? Why would God let these men lie? Because he doesn't lie. exist, he and can't do anything lie. about For it. This cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. The Lord God doesn't want everybody believing on him, and no man can bring another man to Christ. That's so silly. John but a man can bring another man to orgasm. No man it's funny how that works out. The Father which sent me drawing. Men don't lead other men to Christ. A man can't save another man. A man can't bestow grace upon another man. He sends man can't keep us down. Because he doesn't want you to believe on him. But they still think that they can go to heaven, and what's more, they think that they can bring other people along to heaven with them, winning their souls to Jesus. <laughs> but in reality, <laughs> heaven's going to be full of hateful assholes like me. Is by coddling them in their sins and telling them that God loves them no matter what, or to give them some nice scalloped potatoes at the potluck dinner, or buy them... Only well, fags eat scalloped potatoes! Or maybe a 23rd Psalm coaster set. But the Lord Jesus Christ was clear when he was telling he people, is? thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, telling them what the standard was. The only way that you Love thy neighbor as thyself. So do you call yourself a fag and protest your own loved one's funerals? In 18, where the Lord says that the way you show your love for your neighbor is to warn them that their sins are taking them to hell. And that if, in fact, so love your neighbor by threatening them. That their sins are taking them to hell. You hate your neighbor in your heart. Every person who goes to any of the 600,000 false churches in America hates their neighbor. The biggest lie that Well, my neighbor never returned that goddamn circular God saw I loaned him last year, so he fucking deserves to be hated. Preach that lie that God loves everybody. And the reason why we call them fag churches, it's not that every single person of every one of those churches is a fag, but every but that'd be cool if it were. And every one of those churches is a fag enabler. If God loves everybody, then fag enablers. It sounds like a very fruity it's cocktail. Absolutely diabolical. It's insincere. It is fun. Angry. Every one of those pastors and every one of those pulpits is a lying false preacher. They're all headed straight to hell. Fag church. This fall on the CW.